What's up guys, it's Drek and it's December, which means one video every day, same Drek time, most of the time, really just, it's here. There's a video every day on this channel. And now that we're scraping the bottom of the barrel, I've actually wanted to make this video for a long time. It's just this level of content surge is a perfect excuse to make this video. So I like to do these versus videos. I like to talk about them in context of like what it means for the industry, what it means for the hobbyist. And then generally the most common denominator is like, what does it mean for the person who just wants to pick one of these up to have fun? Like how do they make their dollars count the most? How do they get the most play for their money? Is it in the name brand? Is it in the features? Et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. And so today, we're talking about drum guns. Uh, we've got four different examples from the last uh, year and change here. And I just want to talk about kind of what this means in terms of like how things are progressing, what features are clearly important to different companies, and like where where your money goes the furthest. And it's like such a this one was so good to do because we've watched it unfold, and it's so clear cut what the answer is. It's not even funny. So let's begin with the surge fire. The surge fire is our, uh, I guess our latest edition of this whole, like what if there was a really big revolver um, cylinder-based blaster with pump action. Surge fire is not bad. It gets 70 FPS, which is the elite standard. This is like last year's model where the surge fire kind of showcased that Hasbro was really um, like cutting their costs. This is the cheap rail attachment. This doesn't have any like serious pain on the blaster. They started using these cutouts to get cute with how they could get away with less paint. It's a low part, low cost of entry. Uh, coming in at $25, this was what they thought they could offer as a primary. So there we go. So the good news about this one is that it has relatively decent performance, elite standard being 70 FPS. That's boring now. Why is it not firing this one dart? There we go. Uh, that's kind of boring now in 2020 with just how far the industry has come. However, uh, for 25 bucks, you got a primary, no magazines. You could load it out of a, uh, a sack. You could load it out of your pockets. You could load it off the field. Like a relatively versatile, pretty good pick up and go, perfect for HVZ kind of blaster. So relatively low capacity. This guy only holds 15 darts and you can see on the cylinder there, just how like much space there is between those. I don't know why they indexed it that way. I suspect it's so that they could ship it with less pieces. If it only holds 15, you only have to include 15. No muss, no fuss, no problems. Now, then in 2020, we get a couple of upgrades, the Elite 2.0 version being the Shockwave. Except it's not an upgrade. The best thing about a blaster like this is that you can a whole horde of zombies or just an entire enemy team and really slam through your 15 shots. For some reason, they gave you no additional capacity. This has the same 15 round drum with some slightly different deco on it. The same angled foregrip, the same kind of compact thing. Now, uh, credit where credit's due, they added a stock attachment point, which is nice. Uh, they made the rail attachments even cheaper, even worse there for you guys. Whereas this one is at least a separate piece. This is built into the molding in an effort to double down on their doubling down of cheaping out. Uh, then you have, again, very little paint using the same sort of cutout uh, schema here. But if you guys look really closely, you can see just how uh, cheap Hasbro's gotten. This panel of orange plastic doesn't even cover all of the holes that they cut out. So it just looks like there's holes in the blaster. It's like, just, it's not that hard to get it right. Blaster does the same thing on the other side where the insert plastic doesn't cover the entirety of the cutouts. And yet, they expect the same $25 price point for this. And as egregious as all of those sins are, as bad as that design is, Hasbro took away the slam fire, which not only leads to jams and misfires, but also means that you have to put more cognizant effort into actually using this in battle. And just kind of goes to show that like, there's really no reason anybody should be supporting Elite 2.0s. So that means that when you see this guy on the shelf, leave it there. And if you can get one of these, and I see these at Goodwill, you know, thrift hall finds all the time. Pick up one of these instead. This is closer to worth the $20 plus margin of like what a primary constitutes. This is a pretty shameful embarrassment from our number one blaster brand. The fact that they cost the same amount of money and this one has less features and cheaper construction and clearly like just less care involved in its construction is laughable. It's, it's laughable at best, it's shameful at worst. 
Sticking with our Hasbro overlords, we have this guy. This is the Fortnite tie-in, and this one costs $30. So that means that for an extra $5, you get a little bit of Epic Games flavor. Now, if that's your cup of tea, this is the only exception to the like, why would you buy one of these Hasbro blasters rule. If you're just a diehard Fortnite fan and you really like the drum gun in the game, this is the one that you're going to. And also, like, that extra $5 isn't all, like, puff and nothing. It's, uh, you get a stock, the stock comes built in. Is it a tiny stock? Yeah, but it's not the end of the world. You get a muzzle device, you get this very cartoonish, very kind of funky looking thing. And again, like, I really like the MA40, which was a video game tie-in. If Fortnite happens to be your video game of choice, if this is the battle royale that you subscribe to, then you should probably download Apex Legends and try a game without Bloom. That said, snark aside, this one's not bad. For $30, you get a perfect video game tie-in, you get cartoony goodness, and you can appease maybe younger cousins or siblings who are really into Fortnite. Uh, performance on all of these is pretty lackluster. They're all elite standard performance. They're all pretty light on the performance. And this came with the same drum, different deco, also 15 rounds, but at least, as opposed to the Elite 2.0, this one maintains slam fire, which means that you can run and gun your way through that entire drum. And the reason that I wanted to make this video, and it's so clear, is that while I think that this is perhaps a passable choice, especially with something like a Target coupon or what have you, and I think that this was okay at the time. This was a mediocre primary choice back when it released, and I think that nobody should purchase this period. We gotta, we gotta talk about the Villainator boys. So. This is just the strictly best blaster in the category, and in all honesty, it's one of the best blasters, period, right now on the shelves. For $20, this guy comes in at 66% of the cost of the nicest thing on here, and a $5 discount on the things that are actually worth being in that category. This is elite alpha trooper levels of good, where it's a pump action Springer primary that gets 90 FPS, so it's boosting your performance by almost like 20% here, you were gonna outrange everything on this table, and that is not even talking about, look at the density on this drum, guys. This drum holds 40 darts, comes with 40 darts, the darts are infinitely better than the Nerf darts, the Nerf Elite darts barely go where you want them to on a good day. This is a waffle tip dart zone dart shooting blaster that holds 40 in its cylinder, and, you better believe it's got slam fire, baby. This thing is serious. It lets me live all of my Tommy Shelby fantasies. It really brings forth the Scarface kind of energy. It's serious, and I've made all of those jokes before, but this is like a featureful product that was designed with consumers in mind. It has built-in pop-up sights. It has a stock that's not only quite good, but also quite removable if you need to get a little more compact for storage or that's just your style. The drum is low-key kind of removable, but also it holds more than double the capacity of like legitimately, if you add all three of the Hasbro offerings up, this is about the same amount of onboard ammo capacity and the darts fly further and straighter and it costs less money. So the reason that I wanted to make this video was not only just to be like, yo, there's a lot of options in this category right now. It was to point out that at least this year, at least where the hobby's at right now, December of 2020, there's a clear and present winner where one blaster is a serious performance powerhouse at a price that just can't be beat. And the other three are pretty hard sells. I mean, first off, you can't really find the surge fire on shelves anymore, but one of them is a poor passing attempt at a, uh, a primary class blaster. And then the other one is really only an option if you just happen to be a diehard Fortnite player. I, uh, I wanted to make the video kind of as like a holiday buying awareness guide, although I know that for my core audience, this is a refresher. If you're watching this for the first time, if it helped you make a better decision, I'll put links to the blasters worth purchasing in the description box down below. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we've got one coming at you fresh every day in December. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notifications. Some fresh Nerf content or Nerf adjacent content coming at you every day this month means the world to me that you guys watch this. And speaking of the holiday season, if you're looking for some last minute gifts or guides, we've got the guides on our channel and the gifts over at our web store, foamproshop.com, where we cover a litany of different modifications and potentials from electronic to Springer to cosmetic based accessories or upgrades. And if that's not your cup of tea, we've got everything from morale patches to t-shirts. So 
mean a lot to me if you check that out. If you're not shilling for yourself in 2020, you're not in business. Much love, blast on, Drek out.